英国车厂亚历山大丹尼斯 ADL 生产嘅双层电动巴士，上个星期六首航，行驶过海嘅一一二号线，巴士迷就梗系兴奋啦。咁架巴士又有咩咁特别咧？问巴士迷啊，不如问车厂啦。Soon as we get onto the bus, hidden completely from view are the battery first set of battery packs. So underneath the wheel arch here, there's a battery pack, and underneath the staircase over this side, there's two battery packs. Beneath the floor, as soon as we get behind the, as soon as we get behind the wheel arches, there are five more battery packs under the floor, and they're all protected from below, and they're protected from above. So we've got five packs below, and then the final three battery packs are in the back of the bus, in what used to be the engine bay. So what we've managed to do on this bus is get 472 kilowatt hours of energy on board without compromising passenger carrying capacity. When you get on board this bus and look down, you'll see 27 passenger seats and two wheelchair spaces, which is exactly the same as you would see on a diesel vehicle of the same length. 目前九巴购入嘅呢一款新电巴一共有十架，每一架嘅载客量达到一百二十二人，同传统嘅柴油巴士差唔多。每晚充电两个钟就可以行三百五十公里，满足到八成九巴每日嘅营运需要。不过成日都话香港地啲巴士好粗用噶嘛。呢一款電巴又耐唔耐用咧 ？Every bus has a lifespan of 18 years. Now, well, that may sound a lot, or it may not sound a lot to you, depending on where you're from in the world. But 18 years in the challenging, challenging territory that is Hong Kong for bus operation, that is a really difficult ask of any vehicle. So, we design these buses specifically for Hong Kong. They've got heavy-duty components throughout, and that's how we manage to guarantee that they will operate for the full 18 years of service, and possibly beyond. 虽然呢一款电巴好似优点多多咁，不过电巴嘅营运成本比柴油车贵咗六成。嗱，会唔会增加加价嘅压力咧？呢、这个问题就要留翻俾九巴日后回答啦。